Hitachi CV50D. It seems it's a bit of a unicorn amongst collectors. I've never really seen one before and went to pick this and the other bits up from York just because I fancy the Hooper Centrotronic. And these came with it and well, they've been very popular. Very popular indeed. So, let me show you how it's come out. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this seems to be Hitachi's very first foray into the upright vacuum cleaner market in the UK with this very boxy, very clunky, but crikey, very feature-packed thing. This dates from about 1984, looking at all of the date codes on the various pieces of plastic. In 1984, you could buy a Hoover Jr. U1104 with a cloth bag and a dirty fan and a terrible tool setup. Or you could buy this, which thinks it's called Rewind. It takes bags with filters. It's a clean fan. They came with tools that plugged onto the clean fan hose. It's just astonishing how space age it would have been you've got brush control you've got height adjustment none of the stuff that you really had on a 1980s hoover or even electrolux because at that stage electrolux had the twin turbo out i think still i don't think the 600 series have launched quite yet if it had have done then the 600 would have been this one's competitor although again no cord rewind so what have we got well this is the second best one uh -huh. So we have the modern plug fitted because it was all I had and there is no cable grip on this cord. I probably put one on, I think I've got a spare one. There is also, there's another bit, a bit of heat shrink around the cable. That's because again this was the second best cable as well and it was original and I didn't want to take it off. So it's got a bit of heat shrink. Inside the question of can you HEPA flow a Hitachi CV50D is yes, you can very easily as well. Look, I could just take that out. We've removed, screwed onto here, it should be the black bag holder, and then the bag clip. No, sorry, yeah, the bag adapter, the bag holder fits on the bag. But taking all that off, I just have a very cheap and nasty Miele, you know, S six whatever bag and it just pushes on as if it was made for it it's really quite good we have the second best original filter it's a little bit warm perhaps but again it's very strong works fine and now i've remembered how much of a fiddle this is to get in there we go fabulous let's have a look underneath which has come up looking a lot cleaner indeed. There's still a couple of paint marks on this part, but this part still has its sticky, the protective coating on top of it. Now, I'm not going to take that off. This machine already has a new home to look forward to, and I'm going to let the new owner do that. But yes, there are still a few paint spots, but you take that off. And that will be brand new. The bumper is a bit of a mismatch of hot glue and Q-Bond. Bless it. Especially on the corners. And the bumper is held in by just these little tiny bits of plastic. I mean, even it's all ripped out. It's no wonder these, I can see why they didn't survive very much. And yeah, bumper is one thing. The hood has got a crack in it glued it up so it is quite strong now but yes it did have a big old split in it in fact two of them did as you know rolling it over being careful again to not dink the bumper too much we have 
the brush roll which came up very well we have a new belt fitted i'm not taking this off because all the springs for that little brush go everywhere again i can see why you know people didn't like to work on these when they were current because this is just so fiddly to get on and off but it is certainly a lot better than it was before so much better in fact that i think we should plug it in turn it on and see how she runs so we take out the cable but you can see the poor v1 switch bobbing up and down oh hello as it rides around the cord wheel. Let's plug it and turn it on, and it sounds really quite good. Little bit massive, perhaps, but you know, I can feel it on the carpet, I can see the track run. But of course we could get our tools if we had the home. They're really smooth. It's really quiet. I say they because yes, that is the second best one. The best one is here oh let's get you out the way let's pull you forwards a bit there we go ow i just knelt on the cable <laughs> and we'll have a look at this one which is the least used of them all so it's got the best body plastics it's got the better motor the better look it's got the perfect cable with the original moulded cord bit and the retro ever ready plug which suits it fantastically this one in fact i forgot to mention on the other one because i've done such a good job of ramming the handle in with a little bit of sellotape just to pack it out that yeah i'm not taking it out this one is the one with the fully working handle i've got these bit this is the bit that's popped off of the other one and i've got it and the inner metal piece so you know should the new owner wish to he they can put the handle in once but equally it's, a, it's only taken a bit of tape to pack it out i don't quite see there's much points in here we have an identical bag a little bit of a better filter there's not much difference between them really this one just isn't cracked on the front and again has its peel on because i don't want to take it off just yet really it's been on there for long enough that i may as well leave it on the underneath it is basically identical the brush rolls were the same wear and tear on them really so i didn't bother swapping those round if we plug them in see if this one sounds any better brush roll off Put the brush roll on. silence and works really really well now since we've got two of them we can do a dual mess pickup test <sighs> and have pretty much the same results now this one i'm going to put into a higher setting just because you know the pile of the carpet itself is higher and if i could just get the cables into the cord rip off oh, very easily we'll give it a bit of a go Oh, I'm going to have to turn this one's brush roll on. I think, will I? I think that's not bad. Straight suction.
both work really, really well. These machines do hark back from a time when you could get so much airflow out of a 550 watt motor. In fact, I've not long filmed this, which is why it's here. But I dare say that these have comparable suction to this 560 watt meter, which may or may not show progress. It also may or may not show that I am not scientific about these, but I would certainly say that this has so much airflow coming from it. It's really quite astounding. So yeah, that's the two that survived. But the rest of the machine, the third, is here. And, well, this is the third hood. I haven't actually washed it yet. And hopefully you can tell just a little bit of a difference between how they are now. Yes, that is the state of the old hood. We've got this stuff is washed because I washed everything to pick the best part. So that is the whole bag. Oh of the machine that is this and yeah the reason i know well i can work out that not many have survived is that granted it's not too bad when it's together but yeah, it's got the flex of a dyson but i think the dyson would last more than this this is quite brittle plastics so of this so that yeah we've just got everything really this is everything bar a couple of little bits for a Hitachi CV50D that we have to squeeze, we have an okay but little bit damaged base plate. That's the inside of the cord reel. Cord reel is very nice to take apart, although I did destroy one. Trying to work out how to do it. There's some little bits in there. This is the motor housing, cord rewind housing. Ah, this is how the handle goes in. If I can find the other bit here we go this bit screws to the back of the machine then this bit screws to it one of the ways and then yeah the handle goes in there look there's the hole and then that clamps down on it and then this plate goes on top so you could with a bit of thought and dropping the cord reel out of the way you could make something very good yeah you could just drill straight through and bolt the handle to it Got the filter cover, the original bag holder, motor seal, lots of stuff. Everything. We have the squeaky but good motor. These motors are very nice to take apart. Very good indeed. This one's not too bad. And yeah, all of this is going to go in a box. And goes to somebody who I know has a CV50D that is very tatty. So hopefully... With all of this, and I know he'll need that, and that, he'll have a very good Hitachi CV50D, and I can get rid of all of this stuff. So there we go, a very rare vacuum cleaner, and here you see almost three of the one has a new home to go to. The other, I'm going to keep about for a while, because this is not the last video on the Hitachi CV50D. Oh no, developments have been developing and hopefully in a future video we can revisit, it'll be this one because I got rid of this one, we can revisit and I can update you on some stuff. So comment down below if you have or if you've ever had or used a Hitachi CV50D, what happened to it if you don't have it anymore and I am one of these We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.